Brakes. Every motor vehicle must have brakes in good working condition. Cars and trucks must have both a foot brake and an emergency brake. Each set of brakes must apply to at least two wheels. A motorcycle must have at least one brake that may be applied by hand or foot. Trailers of three OOLBS or more gross weight must be equipped with separate brakes. Take your car in to have your brakes maintained on a regular schedule. The brake system is made up of several components including brake lines, master cylinder, slave cylinders, brake pads, rotors, calipers, and drums. They all need regular maintenance. Doing so will help make sure your car functions properly every time you get behind the wheel. If any equipment needs to be replaced, make sure to do so right away. Do not wait or you could put yourself and others on the road in danger. Also, check that your brake fluid is at a proper level. Anti-lock brakes, ABS. Most of us are familiar with the existing term anti-lock brakes but do not know much about its features. In simple terms, anti-lock brake systems are improved and enhanced versions of ordinary brakes. Over the years, since the invention of cars, we have made a lot of improvements and enhancements in many areas of the automotive industry. Anti-lock brake systems are one of the breakthroughs and most significant safety advances in modern automotive engineering. For anyone to take full advantage of the safety benefits of the ABS, one has to understand how the ABS works. ABS has become a popular safety feature and is included in most new cars and light trucks. Government and experts recognize the fact that anti-lock brake systems are one of the modern safety features in new cars. However, it can't replace safe driving habits. Defensive driving is still the best safety device one could have. The basic idea behind ABS is very simple. When braking hard or when braking on wet or slick surfaces, ABS is designed to prevent the brakes from locking up and skidding. ABS also helps drivers maintain steering control during an emergency braking situation. It is also important to point out that ABS is essentially an add-on to the existing brake system. They only come into play during an emergency braking situation. Otherwise, they do not affect normal driving or braking. How anti-lock brake systems work, if a car does not have the anti-lock brake system to avoid skidding. Expert driver's advice is to rapidly pump the brake pedal, releasing and reapplying it, to prevent wheel lockup. Abs essentially do it automatically for each brake circuit. Abs simulates the pumping action at speeds that would be humanly impossible to simulate up to dozens of times per second or faster. Types of ABS systems. A. Four-wheel four-channel system. The system uses a one-wheel speed sensor for each wheel. B. Three-channel system. The system uses a separate wheel speed sensor for each front wheel but only one common speed sensor for both rear wheels. The three-channel system reduces the cost by eliminating an additional sensor and the complexity of the wheel system. C. Single-channel system. The system uses only a single speed sensor for both rear wheels. The front wheels have no speed sensors. This type of abs is on many rear-wheel drive pickups and vans. It is used on these types of cars because most of the load is on the rear wheels. It is also cost-effective and less complex than the three- or four-channel ABS systems. ABS do's and don'ts. Millions of vehicles are equipped with ABS. But many drivers still don't know the proper way of using them. Do. Do keep your foot on the brake. Maintain firm and continuous pressure on the brake while steering to enable four-wheel ABS to work. Properly. Avoid pumping the brake even if the brake pedal is pulsating. In light trucks that are equipped with rear-wheel anti-locks. However, the front wheels can still lock up the same as conventional brakes. If that happens, the driver should ease up on the brake pedal with just enough pressure to allow the front wheels to 
Roll again so you can steer. Do allow enough distance to stop. Follow 3 seconds or more behind vehicles when driving in good conditions. Allow more time if conditions are hazardous. Do practice driving with abs. Become accustomed to pulsations that occur in the brake pedal when abs is activated. Empty parking lots or other open areas are excellent places to practice emergency stops. Do consult the owner's manual for additional driving instructions on the anti-lock brake system. Do know the difference between four-wheel and rear-wheel abs. Four-wheel abs is generally found on passenger cars and is designed to maintain steering ability in emergency braking situations. Rear-wheel abs is found exclusively on light trucks and is designed to maintain directional stability and prevent the vehicle from skidding sideways. Don't. Don't drive an abs-equipped vehicle more aggressively than vehicles without abs. Driving around curves faster, changing lanes abruptly, or performing other aggressive steering maneuvers is neither appropriate nor safe with any vehicle. Don't pump the brakes. In four-wheel abs-equipped vehicles, pumping the brakes turns the system on and off. Abs pumps the brakes for you automatically at a much faster rate and allows better steering. Control. Don't forget to steer. Four-wheel abs enables drivers to steer in emergency braking situations but the system itself does. Not steer. Don't be alarmed by mechanical noises and or slight pedal pulsations while applying the brake in an abs-equipped vehicle. These conditions are normal and let you know abs is working.